Our verse today is Matthew 20, verse 26. It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant. The mother of James and John had come to make a request of Jesus that her two sons should sit one on either side of Jesus in his kingdom. Strangely, it is their mother that comes to make this request. We know from the Gospel of Mark that the request was made by the two brothers themselves. Mark chapter 10, verse 35 to 37. Probably Matthew wants to soften the intensity of this desire. Jesus then asked them if they can drink the cup that he is about to drink. And they said, yes, we can. Jesus, however, replied to them very politely and sincerely that his father allots the seats in the kingdom. This request of the two brothers created a bad feeling among the other ten disciples. They were indignant at the two brothers. Jesus had to counsel them. And Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. Our verse is a continuation of the counsel of Jesus. It shall not be so among you. That is, they are not to seek positions of power like the rulers of the Gentiles, the other nations who lord it over their subjects. At the time of Jesus, there was power struggle among the leaders, especially the Romans, who were the leaders of the people. His words may be an implicit reference to their authority and how people lorded, lorded it over others. The kind of authority Jesus wants for his disciples is different. It is one of service, not of being a lord or master. He says the greatest has to be the servant. The words of Jesus are needed more today than ever. When we look at the political space and how people use their offices and authorities in a dictatorial way around the world. If only all our politicians will remember that they are servants and not lords unto themselves. What about a family? Am I a father who lords it over my wife and children? Or a boss in the office who lords it over his employees? The church is not free from this either. We see the struggle for power within the house of God sometimes. Priests, bishops should be at the service of their flock. That is the call of Jesus. That is how, what he calls us to be. That is how he wants us to be his disciples. To be servants. To be at the service of everyone. Not to be master or lord. Or to be worshipped. Lord, make us always servants ready and willing to serve your people. Give us the spirit of service in our families, in our offices, in our communities, and whichever position we hold. Amen. And I invite you to share your thoughts and your comments on this verse. I share your verse for the day and let us continue to reflect each day on a verse of the Bible. God bless you.